Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Got an awesome story out of USA Today. I should be putting on Real Estate Ninja, but I want this to get out to the masses. And uh, I'm actually filming a video right now on mortgages for the real estate crash course. And it's, it's literally about this. And check this out. Mortgage rate buy downs are on the rise as homeowners cope with high interest rates. I need to warn you about a couple things. We're going to start with the story and then we're going to go into it. Anna Raymond was ready to make the switch from renting to owning a home last spring. But after five failed offers, she and her husband decided to take this a step back from the house hunting. Then in December, their real estate agent presented an offer too good to pass. A home in Longmount was up for sale and the seller was willing to offer a two uh, one interest rate buy down. The concession would lower the Raymond's 5.75 contract interest rate 2% in the first year and 1% in the second year. So they'll pay just 3.5% interest in the first year and 4.57, or sorry, 4.75 in the second year before returning to 5.75 in the third. Raymond said they expect to save about $250 a month during their first year as homeowners. I wanna stop and warn some people about some things. Sorry, the sun's a little bright. First off, this is what happens at the end of a real estate uh, spike and then it starts to come down. Um, sellers need to figure out interesting ways to be able to attract buyers, all right? You are literally so close to being able to start crushing in real estate. And when I say so close, I'm talking about a year. You've got time to prepare and plan for this stuff. That's why I started the real estate course and, and the 80% off discount. If you want it, I'll put a link below. What's gonna happen is people are getting themselves in because of pressure and they don't realize I'm not joking. They forget. They go in it. They always have these rosy thoughts. Oh man, I couldn't get into a house, but if I have this rate buy down for the first year, it's, it's really low. And then it goes up just a little bit by then I'll make more money. And that is literally going to set you up for failure. That is exactly what happened in 2004, 2005, as rates were coming up and people were getting into these teaser loans or better known as ninja loans. <laughs> Pardon the expression. I'm a ninja, but I'm not joking. Uh, they got into these and they go, by the time that we go from a fixed rate to the variable rate, or we go from the fixed low rate to the fixed higher rate, we will make more money. I want to warn you, people are being laid off literally by the thousands every week right now. And it is going to get worse in this next year and the year after, all right? Do not, there are real estate agents out there right now that will offer this up. There's some agents, I mean, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're smart, they're smart uh, advertisers. They'll go, hey, we'll give up part of our commission to help with the rate buy down. As a matter of fact, there's also lenders out there that will do the same thing. But this is because they are so desperate to attract business. And remember, if you're the one person that falls for this and the others are sitting back waiting, that's not gonna keep the real estate market from going lower, all right? Now let's dive in a little bit more. Here's a quote, I think for them, they just wanted a quick sell and for us, we wanted a good price. And so we were able to both be happy in the process. Raymond, 28 years old, said, we figure we can refinance within a couple of years and worst case scenario, if we don't, our salaries will catch up. Oh gosh, I'm not even joking. I'm not, guys, I have not read this story until I saw you. I'm not joking. This is literally, oh, the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar the real estate crash will follow because the cycle persists. I'm not joking. Save yourself from a lot of heartache right now. Worst case scenario. If I hear that word, worst case scenario, and it has to do with you making more money, I'm telling you. Let me give you an example. The nation's largest employer is the Department of Defense. After the Great Recession, the Department of Defense froze, just froze everybody's cost of living adjustments. I wanna say it went on for 10 to 12 years. How many people that worked for the Department of Defense? Nation's largest employer, employer, remember? They're employed by the government and they just print money, willy-nilly. I'm just gonna make more money, I'm the government. How do you think they felt? For 10 or 12 years, if you're in the DOD and you know what I'm talking about, put it down in the description. Hey, worst case scenario, I'll be making more money by then. <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize this, there's a bunch of robots and artificial intelligence that can't wait to take over your job and your money. Why? Because their bosses, the people that employ them and buy them, 
The CEOs of the companies, they're in it to make money. And how do they make more money? They cut the fat. And they, usually the fat are the people that are sitting there going, oh, worst case scenario. Guys, be prepared and not scared. This is not the kind of stuff you want to get snuck into. Now check this out. Let's just keep going for a second. Though buyers can't be sure interest rates will drop by the time they're ready to refinance, mortgage rate buy-downs have become a popular strategy to attract buyers who may otherwise be hesitant to purchase a home under today's high interest rates. Listen, high interest rates are going to get so exciting. I want you guys buying homes when mortgages are between 8 and 10%. And there might, they might, if the bond market collapses, go higher than that. I know it sounds crazy. And the Fed wouldn't be able to do anything to stop it. Just like the Fed couldn't do anything to fight inflation. But I want you guys buying at the top when interest rates are high and then fear is at its max and real estate prices are diving down. And then you go pay those higher rates. I know it sounds crazy, but then as the Fed capitulates and pivots and starts to drop the prices, then real estate slowly starts to come up and then it's gonna be refi, refi, refi. And you're gonna refi going down and you're gonna refi going down. And as that home price is going up, I explained this in the course, guys. If you, as it's going up, you're going, I'm just winning, I'm winning, I'm winning all the way down to the bottom. And then you get ready again and we repeat the whole cycle. Guys, it's a seven to 10 year cycle, but this is a hundred year cycle. That's why I want you guys prepared and not scared. That's why I did the real estate crash course. If you want the 80% discount while we're filming, I think there's three videos up right now. Every week as the videos get done, the course is gonna go up in price. So don't tell them, just, I warned you. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. Do not tell me worst case scenario, you're gonna be making more because I'm telling you, there is a lot of pain coming in the economy and I want you ready for it because this is the only chance we've got during this crash to become wealthier than we ever have. You don't make money when things are going up. You make a ton of money as everything's going down. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.